Hi, it's Penny here and today we're going to be talking about my reading goals for 2021. I think by the time I post this video it's already going to be February. I'm slightly behind this year. Slightly, but January was just like a, a getting my shit together kind of month. No it wasn't. <laughs> it's a lie. January was more about just like remembering how to do work and not be on holiday. Anyway, it's February so we're getting our shit together and I'm gonna set my reading goals for 2021. Firstly I am not going to set a goal in terms of the number of books that I read. I've talked a lot the last couple of years about trying to balance my reading with the rest of my life so I honestly don't really care how many books I read. I feel like at this point I'm gonna read lots of books regardless of what target I set so it really doesn't matter but the goal that I do most want to complete this year is I want to achieve TBR zero. So that means that I would have no books on my TBR list. No physical books. Of course I'm going to have always an infinite list of books that I would like to read. But for the books that are actually sitting on my shelves that I haven't read I'd like to empty it out but there is a caveat there. Um, I have a bunch of books as well that are part of a series where I have to read other books that maybe I don't have yet or maybe it's just like a really long series and I'd have to read a lot of them and I have to read them sequentially. If there's books like that left at the end of the year we're not going to worry about it. We're still going to count it as a win. So I think the books on my TBR cart at the moment are about 20 books and that there's maybe another 10 somewhere over in this mess over here of like the Wheel of Time books but I don't have the first ones and maybe some other random ones. Anyway I think it's about 20-ish books so I think I should be able to read them this year. What I'm trying to do is every month I pick three books off my TBR using the TBR machine. It's getting harder and harder as I have less books but I'm trying to do that and if you take three times 12 that's like 36 so even if I fail it for a few months I should still achieve it. At the moment my TBR cat is a complete mess so I'm not going to show it to you but I will tidy it up and then make another video to properly have a look at it and maybe make some kind of a plan about how I'm going to approach it although of course with the TBR machine I give away some level of control and that's okay. Um, I do also think that if I'm focusing on this goal I am going to put less of a focus on reading new releases because normally I get a lot of new releases from the library and whenever I get library books it kind of blows the rest of my reading plans apart because you can't always predict when library books are gonna arrive and if they're popular books they often have a hold queue so then you have to read them quickly when you get them or you have to return them and request them again and that just turns into quite a lot of confusion. So I think I'm gonna read a lot less library books this year. I'm not gonna put a target on that but we'll just we're going to expect less new releases and less library books but if I can get to TBR zero then next year I can spend a lot more time on new releases so overall that's where we're heading hopefully. Then the second goal that I really want to achieve is I want to get all my series under control. Now ideally I would also like to get to like series zero so like I'm caught up on all the series I'm reading. I'm not sure that's achievable but that's definitely the target and as long as I can get somewhere towards that goal I think that will be good. Now how I'm going to do this one is every month I'm going to try and complete at least one series so then I should complete 12 series. I need to complete a lot more than that because I have 22 series where that series is complete so there's no reason why I couldn't complete them. I also have 16 series where there's still more books in the series to be published but there are also more books that have already been published that I could read in those series. I do also have 28 series that I'm just waiting for the next book to be completed but those ones are out of my control so I don't worry about them. However I should try to keep that low because when books off that list get published they bump onto the other list. I'm going to try and get that down as much as I can and I'm going to try really hard not to start any new series until I get these lists under control. Again not sure I'll be able to achieve that but I'm gonna try unless there's like a really exciting new series by one of my favorite authors just remembering one that's on my February TBR but unless there's something like that um, I'm not gonna start any new series. Then my third goal is that I want to try and read more diversely. To be honest I'm still gonna be aiming for a pretty low bar but over time we'll try and keep improving on this and I, I need to start tracking different things as well to see how I'm doing with this. But 
If you watch my 2020 reading stats things you'll know one thing I looked at was the race of the authors I'm reading and in 2020 76% of the authors I read were white. So I think my goal like I wanted to try and read more Maori and Pacific authors because I come from New Zealand I'd like to read stuff from the perspectives of the native people to the place where I live but unfortunately I'm really struggling to find fantasy and science fiction written by Maori and Pacific Island authors. I don't think there's many out there especially like modern ones and ones targeted at the adult audience I mean in general there's less New Zealand authors in, in total so I'm gonna try I think I'm gonna try and read at least one of those every two months also gonna try and read overall less than 70% white authors um, I really I'd like it to be a lot lower but I'm gonna bring it down slowly because I do think my goal to get through the series I've got in progress might kind of interfere with this one a bit. So 70% low bar but let's try and achieve it. My other last goal is that in 2020 I read one book by a non-binary author. I don't really know what I want to target for that but I should at least read more than one. And I just want to keep it like those three metrics for diversity for now. I think if you have too many things you're trying to do then it's easy to just lose track. So that's what we're going to do uh, and I guess I really should be looking at these metrics every month to see how I'm doing or otherwise I'm not going to achieve it. So then let's talk about genre. My fourth reading goal for 2021 is going to be to read less fantasy. I really like fantasy but I do think I read a lot of it and I read a lot of it that I'm not necessarily expecting to love so I'd like to really focus on only reading the fantasies that I love but also I really want to read a lot more science fiction and a lot more thrillers and horrors just because I have found some of those that I've really loved but I haven't read enough of them or at least in 2020 I didn't think I read enough so in 2020 I read 17.9 percent science fiction I'd really like to get that to be more like I was gonna say 20 percent maybe 25 percent 25 percent maybe seems a bit high let's just set it at at least 20 percent but I do think I really love science fiction and the ideas that it explores good science fiction of course so I'd like to try and read more science fiction as well I want to try and read like more thrillers and more horrors so in 2020 I think those two genres accounted for about 11 percent of my reading so I want to get that over 15. like these are not very big increases but I just think the general concept is that I'd like to read more science fiction more thrillers more horrors and I think to do that I'm willing to compromise and read less fantasy. And that's another one where I probably just need to track it month to month and see whether I'm keeping up with it or whether I need to try and focus on picking up particular things. Then my last reading goal is probably one that a lot of people would say is the most important and I think it is the most important when you look at enjoyment. So my last reading goal is that I would like to raise my average rating. So I know that I am really bad at getting FOMO. I read a lot of books that I don't necessarily expect to love but I still think I'll like them and I just kind of want to know what people are talking about. I pick up a lot of YA fantasy for this reason and often I end up disappointed or like it's fine but it's not something that's really inspiring me and I want to if I'm gonna spend so much time reading which I do I want that to be really worthwhile time so I should be trying to raise my average rating now I don't mind sometimes reading two star books because I think sometimes you've got to take a risk sometimes that helps you find a new favorite book but in general most of the time I should be reading books I think I'm gonna love. So my goal is to raise my average rating. I'm gonna try to be really good about not picking up books just because I feel like I'm missing out on something even though I don't really think I'm gonna like it. In 2020 my average rating was 3.24 and I don't really have a target but I just want that to be higher. Um, maybe I want to get it up to like 3.5. I think any higher would be like the most amazing reading year I've ever had but honestly I don't I don't think it's achievable. So we'll see but I'm gonna try. And again another one that I need to track month to month. So going forward I might try and find a place either in my wrap-ups or my TBRs where I talk about how I'm going with my goals. 
I might also incorporate looking at my goals as part of creating my TBRs. I think that would be the best way to do it to actually achieve the thing, you know? It's all very nice to set goals, but you've got to actually do something to make them happen, or otherwise it's not really a goal, it's more just a, a hope. Anyway, that's my 2021 reading goals. A little bit late, but hopefully it will help me to have a really good reading year. Do let me know if you have any reading goals in 2021 that you're trying to achieve. And since it's already February, how are you going with them? How are you going to make them happen in 2021? That's what I'm interested in. People's actual like tactics for achieving these goals. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you are doing well and I will see you next time.